Hello everyone, my name is Abby and welcome to the second day of Vloguary and today I'm going to be just doing a little book haul of all the books that I received from the last time I did a book haul until right now. I have three uh, singular books here and then I have a package from Book Outlet. So every year Book Outlet does two different types of bigger sales. They do their Black Friday sale and then they do their Boxing Day sale which is the day after Christmas. Last year I took advantage of both of those but this year I decided just to stay with the box with the Boxing Day one and I just had it sent straight here directly home since I knew I'd be coming home within like the week of time. First one we're going to talk about is Witchwood by Tahara Mafi and even though this one did come out last year I am just now getting to be able to read it because when I purchased this on Amazon, I did unfortunately forget to change the address so it so it came to my home address instead of coming to my address down in Florida. So I decided just to go ahead and let it stay here and I would read it when I got back, which I did and it's fantastic. Uh, this is the sequel slash companionship novel to Furthermore, again by Tahara Mafi. These are both considered middle grade books. The first one is all about a girl named Alice who in a world that is full of color she is colorless and in this world her father had gone missing and so of her along with a few other companions go into this world called Furthermore to try to find her father and it's just all of these amazing adventures and then this story focuses on a girl named I think Laylee is how you pronounce it and she lives in the world called Witchwood. This book was a lot darker but I really enjoyed it anyway ways and I just think that Taha's writing has gotten so good. I love the narration in this book. I would definitely go into more detail about this book in my wrap up but very good. The next book that I am talking about is a book that I actually received by uh, Sky Pony Press so thank you so much for sending that to me and that is Chain Breaker by Tara Sim and this is actually the sequel for Timekeeper and I'm so upset because I received the email about some of their upcoming releases that I could choose from. I for some reason could have sworn that I already had Timekeeper on my bookshelf because the whole sound of that synopsis sounded so familiar but very very cool. So I was like, yeah, I have to have Timekeeper on my bookshelf, so I'll go ahead and get the sequel, only to find out that I don't have <laughs> Timekeeper. So I'm definitely going to be picking Timekeeper up because this one sounds so cool. Because what I read from this one saying, the highly anticipated sequel to Tara Sims' award-winning LGBT LGBT plus phenomenon Timekeeper continues the dangerous dark adventure of an alternate Victorian world where time is controlled by clocks. And I was like that sounds so familiar so I have to have that book and I don't though so I'm just really really excited to hopefully buy that one soon that way I can go ahead and either marathon both of them and just see what is th what the whole hullabaloo is about and also it's it's LGBT. I'm always for it always for it. So so between that book and then this book that I'm going to talk about next are the first two books that of 2018 that I now own. And this one is Batman Nightwalker by Marie Lu. This is the second book in the DC Icons series. The first one being Wonder Woman Warbringer by Lee Bardugo, which I read last year. This book was really, really cool. I've never read anything by Marie Lu. I own quite a few of her books, but have never just gotten around to reading them. And I really like her writing style. I wasn't blown away by this book but the entire there's just this underlying current of just needing to know what happens next because a story behind a certain character in this book and it's really really fun and it makes it again makes you not want to put the book down and I really liked it but I mean it, it focuses with Bruce Wayne it's kind of just Marie Lou's take on the original Batman and it's really good moving into all my books that I received from book outlet Let's go ahead and get on into it. The first one that I have here is The Gallery by Laura Marks Fitzgerald. And this one is a middle grade book. So in this book, uh, the 12 year old Martha, who is the new kitchen maid for this huge mansion is kind of our main focus. She's our main character. And throughout this book, you kind of, you watch as she starts to uncover some of the mysteries from this mansion. There's four different characters within this mansion, the heiress, a footman, and uh, I think the head of housekeeping, and then the husband of the heiress are the four characters that we kind of focus on through Martha's point of view. And one of the main reasons why I really wanted to pick it up is because this is set in during the Roaring Twenties and I'm all kind of right now in that more historical fiction wanting to read books from different timelines and just different eras of 
time and so this one really piqued my interest so I'm really excited to be reading this one soon. So going along that same track of the different types of eras I picked up Glitter by April Lynn Pike. The setting of this book is in the Paris of Versailles but it's really weird because if you are living outside of the palace it is a normal modern day but if you are living inside the palace you are living like you are living in the 18th century. Danica who is our main character happens to witness a murder by their young king um, when she was younger and her mother makes this dangerous kind of blackmail thing to, to kind of help elevate the status of their family. So she makes it where the secret of this murder will knock it out as long as the young king, once he becomes of age, promises to marry Danica. So she needs to be able to find some money and get some type of way to be able to get out of this marriage. She pretty much has six months, as it's telling us, to be able to get out of this and she winds up turning to glitter, which in this world is one of the most potent drugs pretty much on the market. It's highly addictive. So that is what she winds up getting mixed in to and I think it's gonna be really interesting and again I love the setting so can't wait to read this. So the next two books I'm going to mention are two books that are sequels to books I already have. They are just kind of out of order but I saw them on the website for super cheap and wanted to go to pick them up knowing I would eventually read this series. So the first one is The Beauty of Darkness. This is the third book in the Remnant Chronicles by Mary E. Pearson. I have the first one which is The Kiss of Deception but I do not have the second one which is The Heart of Betrayal. So so that one is one that I'm eventually going to need to buy and this is a series that I'm very interested in keeping and learning more about. I, I've heard amazing things about this series and I don't really know that much about it just that the magic system and everything is very interweaved and it's just very cool. I have not even read like the dust jacket or anything for this book because I don't want to be spoiled for anything. Um, by any chance but I did see that this one has first of all a beautiful map and then a really cool crest on the cover so I just think the series is going to be awesome this is one that's probably going to be right up my alley so I was not worried about buying the third book following that same vein this is the fourth book in a series actually and I only have the first one but this is the fourth book in the Falling Kingdom series by Morgan Rhodes this is Frozen Tides again this is a series that I have been recommended non-stop and like honestly kind of playfully shamed that I haven't read it yet but this is a series that again I don't really know that much about I just know that it kind of focuses on four different characters there's something about a queen and needing to take back a kingdom something really cool like that fantasy and I'm all for it I think it sounds awesome so next is a book that is kind of a classic here on booktube I have heard nothing but amazing things about it which made me very excited to pick it up and that is Salt to the Sea by Ruta Sepetis this one is set back in 1945 where it covers a tragedy that happens during World War II and this is just a book that I've kind of had my eye on for a while but I just never picked it up and then again just like a lot of the other these I saw how cheap it was knew that I, we were gonna be getting an extra coupon for the Boxing Day sale so I just decided to pick it up. I think this cover is beautiful. It is a little bit shorter than I thought it was going to be which makes me sad because I wanted to put this next to the, uh, the Book Thief but the Book Thief is a lot taller than this one so they will have to be separated. Okay next book is a another is part of another genre that I love so much and that is fairy tale retellings. This next one is called Tiger Lily by Jodi Lynn Anderson and this one is all about before Wendy comes to Neverland the person who had Peter Pan's heart was Tiger Lily pretty much and you get to explore the relationship between the two of them and I just again I'm a sucker for all things fairy tale retellings and I've never really read anything about Tiger Lily so I'm very excited to get to read this. So then the next book that I have is American Street by Ibi Zaboy and this one is kind of a coming of age story that I have heard is very much on the same level of powerment as The Hate You Give. This one is about the fact that th there is this family that travels from Haiti and tries to immigrate into America, but the main character whose name is Fabiola, I think is how you say her name. Um, Fabiola, her mother gets detained by the immigration area. So she has to try to find her way in this unknown world for her, um, to her on her own as she as she tries to wait for her mother to be able to get through. But what I found really cool is that there is also some voodoo culture in here, which is very different from anything that I've read before. And I just heard some really powerful, amazing things about the story. But I'm very, very excited to read this. Hopefully, hopefully either January, February ish time. So the last book that I have to share with you guys here today is Copper Magic by Julia Mary Gibson and this one is really cool. This is a set back in a earlier time as well which is back in the night in 1906 
and 12 year old Violet is a is our main character and she finds this magic talisman. So with this one she finds out that this talisman is magic and tries to make a wish on it because earlier her mother and brother had just died and she pretty much just wants her family back the way that it was. And she makes a mistake of making this wish though and because of this she some some horrifying things start happening to herself and the community Pigeon Harbor which is where she lives. So it is up to her to get things back to normal and we pretty and we just get to go through the wild adventure with her as she does so. I have heard really really cool things about this story and that is going to be it my friends. Those are all the books that I did purchase. I'm trying my hardest to not buy as many books because there were some months where I read either zero to maybe only two or three books last year and in some of the months where in October I read like 23 books which was awesome but that's not always going to happen especially once I get back to school very soon. So thank you guys so much for watching this video though. I hope that you enjoyed it. Please give it a a thumbs up if you did. Uh, I, this today is just the second day of Vloguary. I have so many more days to come so if you would like to stay updated you can also hit that subscribe button and the little notification bell that lets you know when I make new videos. And again just thank you so much for watching and I hope that you enjoyed and I'll see you guys tomorrow in my next video. Goodbye! <laughs>